All right, I think, I think we're ready here, folks. Hi, thanks so much for joining me. I am your therapist counselor, uh, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for thanking <laughs> me. I appreciate it. What, uh, what brings you here today? Well, we've been married for almost four weeks. Mm -hmm. It's probably just time, right? Is it? Well, Scott, did she, did, did she pull you in here? Is that, that might be a little aggressive for me to <laughs> Scott, I won't point at you either, because that, that's too aggressive. Probably a little aggressive. A little Maybe aggressive. A little Maybe a better way you can ask that question yeah. would be, hey Scott, did she encourage you to come up here tonight? Yes, she did. She did? Yes. That's great. I love that you've done that. So tell me how things have gone over the last couple of weeks of your marriage. Tell me, yeah, how, tell me what she said in, in terms of how have things been going over the last few weeks of marriage? It's been going really well. I mean, uh, we've been enjoying time with each other. Um, mm -hmm. We've been enjoying, uh, we just got back from our honeymoon a week ago. Yeah, we had a week in St. Lucia. So that was very, very fun. And uh, not a whole lot of outbursts, not a whole lot of fights. <laughs> we just had one or two, but you know, other than that. Overall, it was very good. So mm -hmm. um, today I just decided to come as well because, you know, it was important to her and it seemed like she wanted to be here. So as part of being a married couple, you kind of have to do what the other one wants to do sometimes. So Really? Yes. Oh, man. That's sweet. I wonder if I'll get married then. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's talk about your, uh, your past. Okay. Okay. In, do you have any specific that you would like to know about our past or <laughs> starting yeah. from birth? I, I would <laughs> like to. Well, I assume you were born yes, I was at born. some mm -hmm. point. But let's maybe let's fast forward past the birth a little bit. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about maybe the moment that uh, your wife came into your life. Oh, okay. He actually stole me from another guy. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Another uh, guy in my fraternity, I actually did, so <laughs> glad that we're talking about this on television, that's, that's great. But anyways, um, we were uh, enjoying a, a night out at the uh, an establishment known as CAMS uh, on the University of Illinois campus, and um, I was with a friend, and uh, she came in with a couple of other friends, and uh, basically we started to chat through um, you know our mutual friends and uh, at the end of the night I grabbed her phone and I said I'm gonna put my number in here just in case and uh, you know if you ever need anything or whatnot you know whatever this is my phone number so later that night she called and uh, we actually had a, a event going on at our house the next day that uh, we kinda hung out together and then from there it just blossomed into our relationship so yep. It was the start of something great. Something great. <laughs> what did you What did you feel inside, Erica? When I met him. Mm -hmm. Well, I I told him in my vows uh, just a few weeks ago. I told him that it, I, as cheesy as it sounds, that first day that we met at Cam's, I knew we were going to get married. I did. Wow. Mm -hmm. No. I think we're having we're having something here. Mm -hmm. right? I know. We are. I'm doing, I feel a, it. I'm doing like I feel a really it. good job right now. That's I'm great. glad we came to you. That's great for me. But let's get back to you. Okay. Because that's why you're here. Let's talk about needs. Okay? We all need something. I need attention. <laughs> 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 that's kind of true, though. Um, but enough about me. This is about us. <laughs> I, I so need attention sorry. too. I'm on TV too. Okay, okay, here we so go. It's about us. This is good. Do you need you need attention? Yeah, I do need attention. She okay. does. She needs attention. Well, okay, he it's does good. Too. It's good. Scott, can I say it's really good that you can acknowledge that? Mm -hmm. That's good that you're aware of that. Mm -hmm. I think I, we can all appreciate that. So good for you yeah. for picking up on that, Erica. That's great that he notices that, right? Yep. Yeah. He needs it too. Okay. We're both the youngest child of family, so it's hard for us to give the spotlight to the other. 
Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so this sounds like we might be falling into an area of potential conflict, Could which be. I want to explore this area, okay? okay? Because I forget how you phrased it. How did we say that? There's conflict and we want to be in... Uh, Intimacy. There's intimacy, okay. conflict, and withdrawal. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure so there's there's intimacy, conflict, and withdrawal. Okay. Okay. Now you guys, we we've identified an area of conflict, which is great. We both agree that that could potentially conflict with each other's need for attention, right? Mm -hmm. And my need for attention right now <laughs> as well, right? I'm drawing focus away. So let's let's try and figure out some ways. How can I don't even know where I'm going with this. What would I say? Well, maybe we can talk a little bit about um, the idea that there is conflict. So how does this present conflict in your relationship? What may be the theme of um, the conflict going on? Yeah. Is it or, or or am I am I putting too much into this? Is this not really an area of conflict, or does or does this seem to provide potential conflict? I think it sometimes it does. Um, obviously, when attention is drawn away from the ho the home, um, obviously with her work, sometimes my work. Um, you know, sometimes being a farmer, I'm in harvest 30 days on with no time off. Um, so there's a lot of time that I really can't give her in that point because I'm physically exhausted. And uh, you know, sometimes I I feel that my not giving her attention brings up some conflict within within the home um, and then also it, it kind of seems um, minimal but with our with our dog if I have <laughs> days off at home and you oh, know yeah. I spend more time with her if she doesn't run to Erica as soon as she comes in the door then there's then obviously jealous. jealous and some problems there as well so oh, really yes. I want all of Zuzu's attention too. Yes, she does let's explore Zuzu <laughs> because Zuzu is essentially your child at this she point. Is. Yes, she is. Tell me about Zuzu. Zuzu's our baby. She's our... She's a dog. But <laughs> she's our, our baby at this point. So she's a Boston Terrier pug mix, yep. um, about three years old. And uh, she is uh, on a pedestal at the house. So. And you both, you both brought Zuzu or how, how did that yep. work? Yeah, yes. we, we bought her together. So I, I really wanted a dog, so I, I grew up with dogs. I had, I had to talk him into getting a dog, and once we did, at the beginning, Zuzu was really my dog. She really came to me, but yeah, since he gets time off from work and stuff like that, she kind of goes to him now, and that makes me sad. I don't like when she lays by him or, yeah, it doesn't lay by me. Makes me mad. <laughs> yes. So I think to restate what she was saying, which is a trick I've learned to summarize, you're saying that uh, you like your dog a lot. I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, anywho. <coughs> <laughs> How is this going to be edited? I don't know. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, OK. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, no, let's not go there. OK, I got to be patient. I got to be, what else? Oh, oh, OK. So maybe let's, OK, let's talk about, because we kind of talked about the, 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 the past. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the future. Do you have, uh, I'm really good at this, right? <laughs> uh, let's talk about the few goals. Goals. Where do you guys want to be, maybe as individuals, but where do you want to be as a couple in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've um, set our goals. We're for kinda, the future. Yeah, we're kind of living in the moment for right now. But uh, I would imagine at some point um, pretty into our careers, uh, whatever they might be. I mean, 
you know, we're still young, so we're trying to figure out exactly what that is. You know, we've had a couple of opportunities other places, and, you know, now we're starting to get into the things that we really want to do. So um, I would hope that, you know, we'd be successful in what we're doing, um, possibly with maybe a few kids. Oh, a um, few? A few kids. <laughs> so we were on a three- to five-year plan right now, so... <laughs> three to five years to, you know, kind of be together and kind of do things that we would like to do first before we start thinking about having kids. Enjoy marriage. Enjoy marriage. Enjoy each other. Travel. That's great. And we need to buy a house that has two bathrooms. Bathrooms are an issue yes. at the current residence. <laughs> yeah. Toilet seat, do you, what do you do with the <laughs> toilet seat? I put it down after Sometimes. Use. Sometimes. Sometimes it's maliciously left up. <laughs> Interesting. You use the toilet seat as a weapon against <laughs> your wife. Sometimes. Sometimes. Interesting. So, sometimes the 2.30 yelling um, is from that. As a, <laughs> well, I mean... Well, well this, this is good. <laughs> keep, keep going. I need to hear about this. I would just say that, you know, sometimes it brings out some of your anger issues yeah when so. i when it is 2 30 in the morning and it's up then i get mad and i'll slam it down <laughs> so he wakes up mm -hmm. interesting <laughs> so so i mean i i think you know scott unless i'm wrong on this <laughs> it's so hard i have to like think about what i want to say because I want to, I want to be in the middle, and I don't want to pick a side. I don't, but I, I want. Let's see. How would you handle that? I would say, well, have you ever communicated your need for the toilet seat to be down to Scott? I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I would say, you know, what we're really looking at is what we would label an annoying habit, and it's those little things that happen every day that take away big points from our love bank. Mm -hmm. So if we could sure. work on a way to resolve those smaller issues, that would actually make more deposits and your love thing for each other. And it seems like such a small thing, but if it's seriously annoying to you, then that's how we look at balancing that out. Mm -hmm. So I guess we would talk about ways to develop new habits, um, ways to make each other accountable to that. Yeah. And I, here's an interesting thing, because I think you both have such good senses of humor. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder if sometimes maybe things that are little and then you know are jokeable, like the toilet seat, maybe that is a joke, right? But because you both have good senses of humor, maybe it is sort of a joke, but then it is maybe like a little thing where you're like, I'm a little bit annoyed. Mm -hmm. I am a little bit annoyed. Yep. I think so. Yeah. Man. We usually are both pretty good sports about things, so we don't have a whole lot of issues as far as that goes. I mean, sometimes it's kind of practical jokes that we play on each other or things like that. But, uh, I mean, some, some things do, you know, obviously get at you. I think that is one for her. For me, on the other hand, would be um, mm. dishes left in the sink that are not cleaned after me cleaning the dishes and putting them in the dishwasher, and then her to just leave them on the <laughs> counter and not put them in the sink. That, that's a pet peeve of mine, but, you know, I, I feel like we've, we've done a good job of communicating, yeah. you know, what, what kind of aggravates us, so, you know, I feel that, you know, just kind of getting it out there in the open helps out. So, and that's great that we can have this environment with you, Joe, that we can get this out and feel comfortable to talk about these things. You know, this is why I do what I do. And it's for people like you in situations, you know, you guys, let's do something right now. Okay. okay. I want you to look at each other. Okay. Now I want you to, Erica, let's start with you. I want you okay. to say one thing that you just love about your husband, Scott. Your humor. Oh, <laughs> great. No, Scott, oh, sorry, please, I'm sorry. Keep please looking. try I'm sorry. to engage. Okay. Now, Scott, tell, tell Erica one thing you love about her. Your smile. Oh, thank you. That's good. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe that in. Breathe, yeah. Because, you know, when we take a compliment, we're, we're breathing. I feel like I'm at the doctor. 
<laughs> All right, let's let's do another one. No, okay. please, oh, sorry. Sorry. please maintain focus. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'll talk in a more soothing voice. Now, Erica, it's your turn again. Okay. Same, same thing. Oh, I have to say another thing? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, your, what word am I thinking of? How kind you are? Mm-hmm. And breathe that in, Scott. That feels good, doesn't it? Does. It does feel good because this is a loving relationship between two people who've known mm-hmm. each other for such a long time. Yeah. Is he going to give me another compliment? Well, please engage him okay. in eye contact. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> now, Scott, if you if you fully breathed in, uh, yeah. please don't look okay, at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've accepted the compliment, please give it to her. And Erica, I want you to breathe in that compliment. Okay. Your love of family. <sighs> All right. That's great. Now you can look at me. Okay. Okay. How did that feel? It felt great. It felt amazing. Yeah. yeah. It felt like we connected mm-hmm. on some other level. How about the breathing? Breathing was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just came up with that right oh, now. Oh, did you? It felt right in the moment. I would, I would stick with that. Yeah. Well, I will make a note of it. Okay. This is good. I think. How, how are you guys feeling about this session right now? I feel good. I feel like we've come mm-hmm. to the right place. Because Scott, I don't want to put words in your mouth, okay. but I mean, you might have been a little nervous. Yes. At the very least, you were nervous to talk to me because I'm intimidating, and this is TV. Yes. So, how are you feeling now that the session is probably almost over? Well, the breathing did help out. That brought me kind of down to a calm level. Um, zen is is yeah. that what you like to use in the profession? A zen mode. We do, okay. right? So I, I feel that. Yeah. So I'm I'm at peace right now. So that's helped out. Scott and I want to I want to talk about your body language because mm-hmm. what I'm seeing is a man who's comfortable with himself. That's right. And comfortable with his wife. That's right. I pride myself on that. And I think that's great. I think that is good. Thank you. All right, Erica, how are you feeling? I mean, you, you probably had some of the similar nerves. I did. Because sometimes when we talk about how we feel, that it, it might be hard sometimes, right? So how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I yeah. feel like we're going to be married forever because of you. And that's on camera. So it has to be true. It's true. Well, guys, is there any way you would wrap up or... How would you sort of finish? I mean, that was great, just you saying, you know, what a, uh, the, <laughs> the, and saying that you'd be married forever. That's kind of a good ending. But is there anything else you think we should? One of the things that we do is, like, whenever somebody points out an annoying habit, we'll ask um, them to make a commitment to changing that. Mm-hmm. So even if you say, you know, oh. I commit to putting down the toilet seat mm-hmm. at 2.30 in the morning. Okay. I commit to putting my dishes away. I got it. Okay. And then as you do that, the other person says, I'll hold you to that commitment. I like this. Okay. So let's, yeah, let's talk about it. We brought up some, I'm going I'm to wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, just sometimes, and then sometimes it rattles at the end. You know? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we, we brought up some small little things, but I think the good thing about you guys is you're, it's a fresh marriage. These are only tiny things, and we can make progress on these things, right? Yes. So let's once again engage each other in eye contact. I think this okay. is important. We have no cell phones between the two of you. No, nope. it's no not Facebook. It's face look. <laughs> it's gosh. important. I just came up with that too. And <laughs> I felt <that> lost, me. <laughs> but that felt good. All right, face look. <laughs> now we, you, you both maybe had a, a couple minor things, right? So, Scott, when it comes to 
some of these things. What, what, are, what are some action items that maybe you want to focus on? Some doable things that not only you can say that you would do, but you will do them. I promise to, after use, put down the toilet seat so that you do not have a fall in <laughs> early in the morning. And I also promise to not allocate so much time to other things and keep you at least in contact with me during the day so you know and you still feel that you're a part of what I am doing. I'm going to hold you to that. Please do. That was very good, Scott. Thank you for opening up and taking that in. And I think I saw Erica breathe that in. I did. Yeah. I did. I That's great. That so, in. Erica, is there anything after our discussion, is there anything you want to say to Scott that you think you want to do outside of this room? I will um, make a commitment to put my dishes away, especially after you've cleaned the kitchen and put the dishes away yourself. And I don't know why you said two, because I don't know what else I'm going to promise to do. That's okay. You only have one thing. Is that one thing okay for now? That's good, okay. because Scott took a breath in. I did. And he just did it again. So it's two breaths. I'll hold you to that. Good. Thank you, Joe. I feel good. I feel really good. And you feel good, too. Feel good. Erica? feel great. Great. Yeah, I feel wow. amazing. Man. If you want to hug or embrace in some way, I think that would be great. For the camera, especially. <laughs> yeah. We'll put that in slow motion, okay. and it'll be more dramatic. <laughs> Anything else? I'm over a high five couple. Interesting. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's our second session. We'll talk about <laughs> <laughs> the lack, <laughs> the lack of embrace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's good. We got an ending there too. Fun, oh, man. That was interesting. You definitely have to really think about stuff. Should we do a wrap-up sort of thing? No, let's end it with this. We'll end it with this.